Welcome to BalsaCircle.com, your one-stop shop for all of your event decor. Today we'll be using glass vases to make three different centerpiece looks that you can use for your party or wedding reception. Depending on the size of your table, one of these is sure to be just right. For this DIY, we're using a set of three clear glass globe candle holders, but you can also use these designs with cylinder shapes, they'll look just as beautiful. To start, we have our round mirror, and we're using the smaller base in the set that's 12 inches tall, has a 4 inch wide base, and has a 3 inch opening. We have these very pretty fairy lights, but obviously that battery pack is quite big, so <laughs> we're going to want to cover it up. And for that, we're using purple acrylic ice. Acrylic ice is so great to use as a vase filler. It comes in so many different colors, so you can really match it to any decor. So once that battery pack is covered about halfway in the vase, you just arrange the fairy lights on top. Think kind of like a bird's nest. You want to keep it in the vase, but kind of spread it around. And this has a really magical look, especially if your event is in a darker room or closer to the evening. This is going to be the look for you. For the base, we're just adding a few more acrylic ice pieces in clear and purple literally five minutes and you're done. This look is great if you're in a hurry or if you have lots of tables to decorate because that mirror and lights are going to make it seem like the centerpiece is a lot bigger and fuller than it actually is. Now moving on to our second look, we have these romantic silk flowers and pearls. Oh, so pretty. Again, we have our mirror and we're using the small base and the medium one. So the small one is 12 inches tall and the medium base is 14 inches tall. And we're filling each with a little bit of 10 millimeter loose beads, just enough to cover the bottom of the base. You can also add more here, but again, we're going for budget friendly, so just a handful will do. Then we're using silk peony flowers. Be sure to steam them before you add them to your centerpiece. And we don't need the stem, we're just going to cut it off as close to the flower head as possible. To balance the design, we're adding an LED candle. You can just use candles here without putting it in the vase, but for our design, we're using a small vase with the rest of those pearl beads. And for the base, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> base and base sound so similar, but for the base, we have our large 30 millimeter pearl beads, and to keep them in place, we have blue dots. This is so genius. So this way the beads aren't going to be rolling around during your event. They're going to stay put and looking beautiful. And this design is going to be perfect for bridal showers or weddings. And also you can use your leftover silk flowers or petals here at the base. There's even more ways to customize this look. But for now, we are moving on to our final look. We're using all three vases, the 12 inch one, the 14 inch, and the 16 inch tall vase. And again, we have three silk open peony flowers. Then we're going to add just enough water to cover the petals. You want the flowers to sink a little bit in the water. Before you actually put together the centerpiece, make sure to test your silk flowers. Some silk flowers, the color will bleed because they're not meant to be used in water. So just test them out before your event. This is really neat. We're using floating candles. They're actually designed to go in the water and float. And these also come in rose gold and so many other colors. And you can mix and match them to fit your event colors. So beautiful and romantic. This is definitely one of our favorite looks. So for the finishing touch, we have again our acrylic ice and a few petals. And that's it. We're done. So we hope this video gave you an idea of how to make your very own centerpiece style three ways so you can choose the one that best fits your event. Let us know what you think of these looks. Comment below or if you end up trying this DIY, tag us on Instagram at Balsa Circle. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like it, share it with a friend, and subscribe for all of your creative decor and event ideas. Until next time, stay creative.